everyone. I'm Mariana Vrutin, and it is my absolute pleasure to showcase our child scrum and Jira group project for Expert Market USA presented by Bayana, Christian, Eric, Marianne, and Natalia. Expert Market USA, e commerce online store that sells Indian heritage artisan products, including jewelry, apparel, furniture, antiques, and office supplies for meaningful buying. This cultural market is available on mobile and web browser platforms and has three physical locations in Chicagoland. It ships all the orders worldwide and provides exchange within seven days of purchase. Expert Market USA is a continuously evolving shopping platform with the motto, shopping is a right, not a luxury. So we strive to deliver the best products at the most affordable prices. The main goal of Expert Market USA is given the most reliable online shopping experience and create a lifelong connection between customer and Indian craftsmen. Our client want us to determine the target audience to cover functional, emotional, and social aspects. Upon research, we included the demographic data such as age and gender identification, such as adults with buying power. Psychographic uh, data, such ambitions, worries, and values, which include gift givers, homeowners, event organizers, decorators, collectors, and lastly but not least, behavioral data, like ability to buy online. So for people who are proficient using online shopping. For the project overview, our main mission was to elevate customer pains uh, and multiply customer gains. For example, if we take increased sessions by traffic uh, source, the pain is organic traffic has dropped significantly, significantly over the past three months. So we try to uh, emphasize the gain, check for technical errors that could be uh, impacting the client site uh, uh, indexability. Or, uh, for example, reduce bounce rate. The pain is that too many customers just browse and leave the uh, uh, website without in a purchase. So the gain for us to uh, to work on is audit site usability to determine if technical issues are causing customers to leave, uh, or maybe the check the keywords and ads to ensure that they are relevant to a particular page. And now let me pass it to continue with project presentation. Uh, thank you. Um, here we have the costing of one of the apps out uh, with the expected return. It is a crucial aspect of the site where admins can manage the products uh, that are listed and available on the site. With, a, uh, with an investment of $300,000, we expect a $5 million return. Uh, additionally, uh, there are 11 more epics in our uh, project. Uh, they are listed out here uh, with a breakdown of the epics uh, that uh, were projects. Uh, it is important to know the goal of the work that we're all doing during the sprint. Uh, this, sli this slide shows the uh, success criteria for a product management epic. Uh, here's our sprint team comprised of five members that include the scrum master, product owner, and the developer the team. Uh, the team is listed with their strength. However, the team is multidisciplined and are able to complete all of the tasks required for the project. Here we show the capacity and velocity of our team. Our team was available for all working days. Uh, we took into account some days off, like Thanksgiving break, uh, during our sprint. See that team velocity varied uh, a little and uh, dipped during the second sprint. Uh, I'd like to pass to uh, my colleague, uh, Diana. Well, thank you, Christian. On this slide, you can see definition of DAM. For well, our project, our team agreed upon list of DOD. So the first code has been written, reviewed, and tested. Second, white, gray, and black box tests are passed. Third, user stories meet predefined acceptance criteria. Four, all documentation and support materials are created and readily available. And five, stakeholder and product owner accepted product. Uh, we 
our planning from Excel sheet, then we generated the release timeline in Jira. For release dates, we map out the dates when we plan to release from July to December. So we have 11 sprints for two releases. The first release can be worked down in seven sprints, the second release in four sprints. Our sprints are in short iterations, two weeks long. Here you can see that this release plan reflects what features have been implemented in which Scrum Sprint. This slide shows the concept diagram for online store framework and interactions between the customers, admins, and vendors. And here you can see acceptance criteria for some user stories. For example, for Epic Product Management User Story and Item to Cart, Product Owner defines that upon success, actor can add items to shopping cart and verify each item in the cart. For Epic Shopping Cart Checkout, the acceptance criteria is upon success, actor can proceed to checkout. The checkout page is visible with payment options. For Epic headers, shop all, the acceptance criteria is upon success, actor navigates to shop all page where all the products are listed and many options are available. For Epic product manage management, users filter based on price, color, size. The acceptance criteria is upon success, actor makes selection in the filter menu by price and only items in this price range are displayed. Same are uh, for the color and the size. Now it's an Eric's turn to continue presentation. Thank you, Viana. Dashboard, it, it consists of seven to eight um, gadgets. Each gadget consists of different views and status. Uh, first gadget, we have the issue statics filter by issue type. So here, this displays all the issue types, counts, and percentage for subtasks, stories, and epics. As you can see, we had a sub of 156 counts at 73%, story, 47 count with 22%, and 12 epics at 6%. Next, we have the two dimensional filters. Um, statistics and here this displays the status of tickets in progress to do and done with totals so you'll see in progress we have nothing to do irrelevant six with the total of six to do of uh, to do 12 with irrelevant of 28 with a total of 40. done we had 169 total which it comes up to 250, um, 215 tickets. Next is a pie chart. On this pie chart status, this displays a pie chart based on the status of tickets. So done to do in progress, it displays a percentage of each status when you hover over the pie. So you can see the to do, we were at 18% with 40, with 40 um, tickets at done at 169 and in progress at 2%. Next, we have um, the filter status. And the filter status, this um, filter is based on all the tickets for this project. So epic stories, subtasks. As you can see, when we click on any other, you'll see the epics, stories, and subtasks. And you also see their status. Next, um, we'll talk about the pie chart assignee. So this chart, this pie is uh, displaying how many tickets are assigned to someone. When you hover I, you can see the percentage that will display. So for my, myself, Eric, you'll see a 14% ticket still assigned. For Bianca, 10%. Natalia, 9%. Uh, 
unassigned 28, Marianne 20%. The next um, gadget was created versus resolved. On this graph, you'll see how many tickets were created and resolved on a specific day. So you can see on November 16, we created 100 tickets and resolved 86. So the, the team killed it that day. Next one, the work while on low pi. On this chart, um, represents the total time it took something to be done and how long items are, are still unresolved. So you can see for done, we have that's 49 weeks, three days and eight minutes. And unresolved, 11 weeks with hours. Next, we're gonna go over some of the jury reports. So we're gonna go over the, the burn up chart. For sprint one. So the burn up chart provides a visual representation of a sprint's completed work compared with its total scope. It offers insights on our project's progress as well as offers warnings to help us maintain our project's health. You can instantly identify problems such as a scope creep or a deviation from the planned project path. So you, you can see that we had 29 points scope and we completed all 29. Next, we're gonna go over the um, velocity chart. The velocity chart, this tracks the um, amount of work completed from sprint to sprint. This help us determine your team velocity and estimate the work the team can realistically achieve in a future sprints. So you can see that on uh, sprint two, we completed 24, sprint three, 26, or which, which was a small sprint, we completed four and so forth. Now, we also wanna show that we have perversions, we have releases one and two, where at one, you can see we had 42 issues and completed 31 with an estimate of 123 points. For release two, we have 16 issues with seven completed at 52 points. Um, here you can see our epics where we have for product management admin, you can see we had seven issues with six completed at 30 points at 100% estimated um, work completed. Um, next, you can see our backlog. Our next sprint will be sprint nine, which is, has it started. You can see we got 10, 10 points, stored points. Next, we would like to bring it to the QA, Q&A section. So if any questions. So first of all, give a big round to this group. Seems like they work very hard and they have a very good dynamic, uh, what do you call team energy. So first question, like, how you and your team work together? Because I know many groups had a hard time to work with the group. What was the secret of success? Uh, we met, communicated every day. Um, and uh, we tried getting together in person as much as we could. Um, we met here a couple of times, and uh, we had a um, WebEx meeting every day. And they move around, you know, sometimes it was late at night, sometimes it was earlier. Right so, um, uh, and we had good communication through uh, online and in person in class. We share class together as well. So, very good. Uh, second question like, I saw you have done a fantastic job in the dashboard. Like a dashboard, which is very, very good for metrics perspective. So, how do you derive that? I mean, these widgets, 
in this dashboard? How, How did you come up with the dashboard design? design? Um, each tag, um, each tag was uh, different. It was basically selecting what we needed and uh, filtering it down based off, you know, that way we can show that how many counts of tickets we had and break it down with an epic story and uh, done status statuses. Very good. So when you were working, uh, when you were working like, like in your group, only one person was adding all the details or all of you were adding Epic story. Uh, actually, we are work together mm -hmm. because the group is small. Mm -hmm. Even though we define the roles, we want to deep into you know each role. So we kind of uh, go out and make decisions and delegate it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, the, okay. We have sprints with and task what we are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. We exactly know what what person what to do. Got it. So when you were working in this thing, anytime you felt like uh, did I without, without did I did you find the value of the did I Um, I did because well, we were working with Excel, right? And I'm like, man, if we had to do something like this <laughs> only in this tool. Mm -hmm. That'd be hard. Um, and it, it was nice, nice to get the visualizations at the end, really, you know, when you're working on a project and, and, and entering, entering all these things, things you know, know, just the sort of like grinding it out. You're not actually doing the work, but you're doing this okay. other thing. And then at the end, when you see all the widgets and the graphs and the, and, and the data that you can see, you're like, oh, this is why, one of the reasons why this is really important. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought that having all the places, all the, uh, uh, Success criteria was like like great. great. Uh, we we're working with, with this very right. real project. Let's say I give you extra one. What would you add in this project? But you not take it. What would you add? Well, uh, as for me, I would do probably um, sprint reviews. And then the sprint retrospective to see why our um, capacity versus velocity was differentiated so much mm -hmm. and do a little bit more better estimation mm -hmm. because I think we we'll learn from, you know, day to day mm -hmm. where in the beginning we made uh, yeah. care of just because of the learning. My name is Rajni Kateria, and today for the Jira software project, we are presenting the Cinex Corporation, the e-commerce development company, and we're using the Agile Scrum methodology using the Jira software. And in our team, Ria, Ruchi, Rajni, Tuba, Wang, and Chris, and a couple of people we are presenting. So just want to give you a little bit idea about the company. The Synex is the IT distribution company. They founded in 1980. They started with the marketing and they, they did a warehousing, then they buy the more companies and as a distribution company. So right now they have around 200,000 plus products and solution and around 1500 vendors and OEMs with them and around 150,000 customer around the whole or like 100 plus countries. And they have around 2,200 employees. So we are taking that one of the projects to build a shopping cart also for the customers, vendors, and also for their manufacturers to add the products inside the website. So we kind of thinking about the using the Java and Oracle database and everything, but we are just presenting right how we should approach that project. So that's why we are using this Jira. So about the company mission and vision. But next. So in the company vision to connect the global IT ecosystem for all of the people and they want to do and in the mission they provide the technology solution to the global market and for success for their shareholders, partners, vendors, customers, and everyone. And let me pass it to 
the, my teammate Ruchi for the explaining more about detail in the project. Okay, thank, thank you, Rajni. So, as you can see here, and this is the slides explains four W's and one H, and that we are providing we what we are providing. So, what we are providing, so we are the provider of software, hardware, electronics, cloud services, and many more. So, now the next question, like who who is the customer? So who is using our product? So it could be me, it could be you, vendors, sellers, resellers, manufacturers. And why? Why customers should buy our product? Because it's a fast delivery and cost effective and so on. So this is kind of a brainstorming. We did brainstorming why customer want, what customer want, when customer want. So on the base of this, we created our JIRA project. So next slide, please. So, okay, so let's talk about the product roadmap. So this is a, a technology product roadmap by the company. What is going to happen next? As you can see that we have a three releases, user management, sh uh, sh uh, sh shopping cart management, and the payment management. So here, Epic in the release, Epic 1 in release 2, Epic 2, release 3, Epic 3. So Epic is nothing but the large body of release. What we gonna do? And then again, Epic is further broken down into stories and the subtasks. Next, please. So as I said, our, our Epics is broken down in the story. So here, Epic 1 has a story Na, uh, create profile. In create profile, we have a subtask. A subtask 1, subtask 2, like create wireframe, Java program, database, test cases, user document, how much time it will take, who is going to do what, who is going to do what. So we brainstorm all together and we came up like this is the outcome. Next, please. So as I, I mentioned, as I mentioned that we, uh, we in subtask, we are creating a wireframe. So he, this slides represent how our login management work. So once the customer is going to log into home or is he's going to or he, she is going to log into uh, or not log in, but uh, open the website. So if he is a customer, he can directly go to the login page and he can with login page, he can update his profile. He, if he forgot his password and if he uh, forgot username, so they can go out. If the customer is new, they want to create account, so they can create account and they can go to the login page and the so process will follow the same as the uh, existing user. Next, please. So test case. So in this test case, we are representing like who? Who is our customer? Our customer is Cinex website, and what we are you, what we are gonna provide. Sorry, what what is the test case about? So it's a test case functionality. Who is doing? When doing? Who who is going to evaluate that test case, and when? So so here is the some example like test case. Test the login functionality. This is the test ID and the test case description is verify login functionality with valid username and the password. And the st and step steps includes navigate to login page, enter valid uh, username, enter valid password, uh, click on the login button. So valid password is just like here's the example is given. So the Expected result is like able to see the login page, credential can be entered, credential can be entered, same, and the user should be logged in. So actual result as expected, as expected is like he, he was able to log in or not or something like that. And the status is like pass or fail. If user is creating valid, uh, sorry, user is create uh, putting valid uh, 
username and the password, then the pass, then the result should be status should be passed. Here is the same another example here. You can see that in the second example, pass, uh, password is a little bit different. So the test case should show the result is fail. So this is the test case. Next, please. So, excuse me. So in this, we have a stories like how we sub stories, who, what, why. So for example, a customer wants to create a profile. Why? So as a customer, I want to able to create a profile on the website so that I can save my shipping, billing information, track my orders, receive personal recommendation. And when are we gonna release? What is the priority? What is the, this subtask point is? So in this, we have demonstrate all those things. So now I'm gonna give to my colleague, Ria, and she is gonna take over from here. Thank you. Ria, are you there? Thank you, Ruchi. Uh, so uh, we have created, uh, we have used Jira software for the sprint planning as uh, she explained all the uh, release and epics. Uh, we have created three release, uh, three and uh, three epics. Uh, for the user management epics, uh, uh, there are four stories uh, in that create profile, login, forget password, and you uh, forget username. In create pro profile, uh, uh, th there is a description uh, and ac acceptance criteria for these stories. Uh, as a customer, I want to, to be able to create a profile on the website so that I can save my shipping and billing information, track my orders, and receive personalized recommendation. And here are the acceptance criteria that the customer must be able to uh, enter their name, email, address, shipping and billing information and create a password. Uh, the customer must be able to save their profile information so that they do not have to enter it again each time they make a purchase. The customer must be able to view their order history and, and track their order. After creating account, user uh, should get an account confirmation email And here is the uh, screenshot of uh, Sprint Backlog 2. And the uh, epic is Shopping Cart Management. It has uh, three stories, Search Product, Add Product, and Delete Product. In Search Product, uh, we also created a subtask in it. And uh, here is the uh, story uh, story description and uh, acceptance criteria of uh, search product that uh, as a, uh, as an online customer I need to be able to search product by name or category so that I can find the one find the ones I want to buy and uh, ex acceptance criteria for these are product search by name and category it should be visible within a few seconds uh, the search bar should be displayed on the home page of the website and uh, customers should be able to type in the name of product and category and see the list of matching product uh, and uh, in that uh, it has a sub subtask sub included uh, the example uh, is like uh, create a search bar and create a java program and a database for it uh, now I'm going to uh, show in Jira software. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, there are three, uh, we have created three release uh, and uh, three epics, user management, shopping cart management, and uh, payment pro processing uh, in release one. Uh, there is a, a user management story in that, uh, uh, sorry, user management epic. Uh, there are in, in that, there are four stories, uh, create profile, 
uh, in create profile story, uh, there, uh, there are sub subtasks sub -task included in it, uh, like uh, create a wireframe for the login system, create a HTML page for the user interface, create a Java program for backend functionality, create Oracle database for uh, da uh, data storage, and uh, create test cases for the login system and uh, uh, task assigned to the individual. And uh, we uh, and uh, here is the story points and uh, we deliver uh, this uh, story in release one and uh, how much time uh, uh, it, it took, uh, we logged it uh, in it. And same uh, for the shopping cart management. It has uh, three stories, uh, uh, search product, add product, and delete product. In search product, um, as an online customer, I need to be I need to be able to search for products by name or category so that I can find the ones and buy. And here is the acceptance criteria for this. And uh, uh, these are all the subtask subtask for the su search product. And uh, cur uh, our current uh, active sprint is. Uh, uh, payment management system uh, that we are working on and uh, uh, here is the bond down chart uh, for uh, for the number of uh, story story points completed in and uh, velocity start uh, that uh, how, how many story point completed in uh, one sprint now i would like to hand over to wayne for the further explanation We have went here. Looks like he is not here, right? In the meeting. Yes. Oh, you are. Okay. Thank you, Ria. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, in capacities. Uh, we have uh, uh, we. The people who really assigned to work are Ria and uh, Richie and Regini, and uh, we uh, other people are just uh, mainly helped in in the project. But uh, that's uh, how the work was distributed for a majority of the development work. Next page. Okay, um, to be considered as uh, successful for this project, we have a, a couple of expectations. And the first one is the positive uh, user experience. And uh, we, uh, as uh, the company goal uh, is uh, to meet all the customer and vendors' uh, expectations. So, all project success uh, depends on very much on um, to finish the project on time and within budget, and also uh, how to uh, get the customer's feedback and satisfaction uh, are the all paramount requirements. Uh, if this is a real project, we will regular uh, meet with customer and get their input uh, from demos and service and feedbacks and to ensure the software aligns the expectations. And um, our project will be uh, 
hopefully every sprint will be uh, on time delivery. And uh, also we will have a high return of investment. I mean, at the beginning, uh, when the uh, project is finished, uh, the first goal is to stay in the budget and uh, do not overspend uh, from the existing uh, fund uh, available. But after a while, uh, we will take a, a survey to see what kind of investment we can get from this project and to re-evaluate it. And we will continue to uh, improve on the project so that we will achieve the uh, maximum uh, investment for this project. Next page, please. And uh, our key challenges for this project, uh, as uh, we mentioned earlier, that it's very difficult to get uh, a lot of groups uh, going on for this class. And uh, we have also very big challenges. Number one was communication, because we are all from different uh, like time zone. For example, uh, Reg uh, Regini, when he, when our project started, he was still in India. And he was jumping on the airplane and he said, you know, if you need, we can have a meeting while I was on the airplane. So, and I'm on the East Coast, so it's like a, huge difference between our uh, location. And we also have a very dynamic lifestyle. So the communication was pretty challenging. We have to decide which tool to use, like uh, whether you use Zoom or use uh, email, or use uh, web EX. But, you know, we, we finally figured out uh, the best way to do it is basically uh, use the combination of uh, email and um, WhatsApp and uh, uh, Zoom. And also, you can also document on the JIRA itself. The, the combination uh, of all the communication methods help us to go through the difficulty part of the team. And then the second is the uh, team, we because we are so different, so we have different opinions on the ultimate goals and the target of the project. And so after we establish a clear communication framework and have a good uh, collaborative environment, so that helps us to finally uh, reach a common object, uh, objective and so we can work all together. So um, yeah, so Number three is lack of the accountability. I mean, this is a class, it's not a company, so we can't really force anyone. So it's all about five volunteers. So that is tough sometimes. And uh, the fourth is we have mismatched team skills and uh, everyone uh, familiarity of the web development and the uh, Jira uh, usage are different. And I already talked about the time zone difference. So um, eventually, uh, like uh, our instructor for sure said, you know, take initiative, take a leadership to, to accomplish a group work in our class. Uh, we, we really uh, want to thank our uh, Regini, take a very uh, positive uh, initiative and also uh, Ruchi and, uh, Ria, they are all like jumping, and I just trying to help wherever I got time, so we we'll get this thing done. Okay, next page. This is the tools we use. Like I said, we use the Jira, Zoom, and the PPT, Google, WhatsApp, Excel, and the ideal boards. Next page, please. Okay. Thank you. That's all for our presentation. Uh, do you have any questions for us? Yeah, first of all, good job, guys. Let's do a big round.